Let's continue our overview of the PBR shaders in 3D Code Sculpt workspace. I first want to thank Philippe Beckman for the use of his Furiosa model for this demonstration. We're just going to make a few changes to one shader, then we'll construct a completely new cloth shader for this material. We'll also look at reflective surfaces as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to zoom in on the boot. I'll hover over the object, hit the H key to select that object, and also use Auto Pick. And with that selected, you'll see here in the shader panel, the object or layer that's currently selected will have its shader highlighted here in this panel. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose construct a new shader. Black. When I uncheck these options here at the top for modulating by color, glossiness, metalness, or normal map, you'll notice our parameters change contextually at the bottom as well. So with none of these checked, we're left with just a few options for color, metalness, glossiness, and opacity. But this alone is helpful enough for making certain materials. Uh, let's choose a, a darker one, and we can crank our metalness up and our glossiness up. If you want just kind of a plastic material, you could reduce the metalness. And then, if we want kind of a glassy surface, we can adjust the opacity a bit. Have a frosted glass. So we'll go back to darker color, modulate the color by texture, modulate gloss in our normal map, and we'll use cavity as well. Okay, so we already have a texture assigned to each of these. Let's choose our normal map. And then our glossiness. Obviously, we want to adjust our bumpiness down. We can modulate our texture scale and see the adjustments on the fly. We can also go into negative if we want. In this case, that's not what I need, so I'll just change that back. Okay. And we can affect our glossiness with a slider or enter the value numerically. That's your base gloss. Then you have cavity gloss and bulge gloss. Just your cavity gloss here. And then our cavity amount. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can observe some changes here. So I want it to be kind of subtle. So we're done with that. Now let's go to the back and change the cloth material. With auto pick checked, I'll just click on that object and I can find its highlighted shader. Let's just edit current object shader settings. 
I'll change the texture. I'll choose that one. Change the normal map to correspond with it. And our glossiness as well. Let's adjust our scale. And then our bumpiness amount. Now go ahead and click OK. And with that, we will conclude this overview of the PBR shaders in 3D Code Sculpt Workspace. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.